Hey guys, it's Aaron, and today we're going to use the extension True Bend to build a wicker basket. If you were here two days ago, we did a quick and low poly wicker basket using PBR materials. So we imported some materials, put all the PBR magic all over them, and then uh, did that. And it was uh, it was good. It, it looked good. It was cool, um, if I do say so myself. Um, but this one, I wanted to actually go in and model some, some wicker. I want to make some overlapping pieces of wood, that kind of thing, and, uh, actually create the geometry rather than using material. So it's going to make a much bigger file that obviously a lot more faces are going to get created. That sort of thing. We are going to use an extension in true bend to make this happen. But, uh, I think what we get out of it's pretty cool. Check it out. All right. So let's, let's do this thing. Let's start. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle. So I'm going to come here near the, the, the base and, uh, I, I don't, I'm not drawing this to scale. We'll scale it up after, but I want a, a rectangle like about that size and I'm going to raise it up about th that big. Uh, I'm going to color that. I'm going to use a lighter material. I like that. Um, the grain's going the wrong way. This should be, you know, a reed kind of thing going this way. So I'll select here. I will go to texture position. When you go to, to pull up the texture menu, I'm just pointing this out some people struggle with this. Make sure the only thing selected is a single face. If you had double click and have the edges, you won't get texture. If you have a bunch of faces selected, right click, you won't get texture. Texture only shows up if you have a single face. So I'm going to click that texture position. And then I could use the handles to flip this 90 degrees, but I'm a lazy man, so I'm gonna use rotate 90 degrees. There we go. Now I can triple click everything, paint bucket sample, click here, and that reorients all the sides going the same direction. All right, I'm gonna click that and make it a group. And I'm gonna take it from here to say here, I don't know. And we're gonna say something like uh, 11X. Okay, that was good. Now, I'm going to start right here. And I'm gonna draw an edge between the two center points here. And I'm gonna do that on until I have three edges, three lines. And now, so they're all the same distance apart. Now I'm gonna grab my arc and go from the middle of one to the middle of the next and pull that out just slightly. I'm gonna go from here to the middle of the next one is my midpoint. There we go. And click. All right, now I'm going to erase all of this. Cool. Now let's grab this this piece right here. Um, I'm going to well, actually before I weld it, let's let's duplicate it. I'm going to go grab it. Option copy down to here. Let's say six x. That should go past the end. Perfect. Um, yeah, actually we can take this curve right here and salvage that. <laughs> Salvage, like, like we have to reuse materials here. Put that down there. All right, so that comes in. Good, good, good. That's what we want. That's everything we need. I'm gonna triple click and weld all that. All right, now I'm gonna come down here and we're gonna put a rectangle. I'm gonna actually move this up slightly and we'll put a rectangle right here on the end. I'm gonna hit uh, the modifier, so I'm placing it by the center. I'm gonna place it upright. So something like that. You tell this is this is very specific stuff here. I'm gonna kind of play around with this. I'm gonna scale that. I'm gonna scale about the middle by hitting the modifier key to make that a little bigger. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, that'll work. Um, the other thing I wanna do before I, what I'm gonna do is just do a follow me. So I'm gonna make this thing follow here and it's gonna go in and out of the verticals. But before I do that, I want to make sure that it's facing the right way. So see how it's at a little bit of an angle? That's going to cause a lot of distortion to this geometry and it may make it difficult to line up the ends. So what I want to do is I want to take this, I'm going to rotate, I'm going to constrain to vertical, and I'm going to take this midpoint right here and turn it until I am 90 degrees to this piece right here. So I'm hovering over here to inference and then when I come over here, it's going to snap to magenta. Now I'm 90 degrees. That assures that as this follows, it's not going to jump around and get all weird. Uh, technical modeling term, get all weird, that is. So I'm going to grab this, follow me, click on this piece right here, and there we go. Look at it weave in and out. Oh, beautiful. 
it's a little exaggerated. I could snug it up, make it a little more tight, but uh, for what I'm doing, I think that actually looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna pull this up vertically till it's the same as the bottom there. Awesome. And uh, let's color this. Let's let's throw some darker material on here. Yes. Thank you. Love it. Oh, look at, look at the light in the environment playing off that material. It's so cool. All right. Um, yeah, that looks good. Let's take that now, triple click and make it a group. And then I will take it, make a copy of it straight up on top. Uh, obviously, that's not good wicker. We need to flip that. So I'm going to select it. I am going to hit flip and we're just going to go along the red axis and flip it back the opposite way. Beautiful. Let's grab both of those. And oops, look at that. I didn't do the I didn't do the end of uh there we go. I'll need to go do the other end too. I didn't make it a component, so I gotta change both. There I go, not doing components. I don't know. I don't know about this guy. Okay, there we go. Now I'll grab both of these and then we will option copy that straight up. I want to stay straight up because I want to keep everything aligned like that. And let's do that uh two. X. All right, there we go. We got our wicker. Um, that looks cool. So that, we're going to take that and we're going to bend it in a circle. But before I do that, before we do that, um, I want to put something along here in the top. So uh, in, you know, like a thing about like an Easter basket kind of thing, uh, I'd probably have something like wound or something like that. I'm going to, I'm going to cheap out on this a little bit because, uh, you know, I don't want this to be a 80 minute modeling video. So I'm going to go put a circle right here, I'm gonna pull that out so it's just wider. There we go, I'm gonna pull it out to the midpoint. So where these two overlap is gonna be the middle. And I'm gonna pull it down this way, same thing. I'm gonna to go to the midpoint, Whoop. right? So you inference that right there. All right, and then uh, we'll take that and we'll put this material in there. Yeah, that works. All right, I'm gonna make that a group. I'm gonna slide it up. I don't like how it's overlapping this material here. So I'm gonna go vertical like, like that. Perfect. Awesome. Now I'm gonna take all of that, right click and make it a new group. Now we're gonna use the extension. So our extension is True Bend by TomTom. Tom. We've showed it on here a couple times. Whoops. We've showed it on here a couple of times. Um, I'm not going to dive real deep into it. You can check out those other videos where we explored a little bit more. I'm going to keep it simple here. We're going to go to tools. We're going to hit true bend and oops, I didn't select my, there we go. Tools. We're going to hit true bend. This is parallel to the red axis. It was created parallel to the red axis. So all I got to do is grab this handle, pull it all the way out, hit enter. And there we go. That has now taken that material, bent it all the way around. Looks pretty cool. It does. This so I could go with this. I could go here. Let's let's make a copy of this over here because I could in theory just take that and go. I I want to go a little bit further. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, actually no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna. We're going. We're just gonna move forward. I'm not gonna say what ifs. All right. So I'm gonna undo that, and I want to get a little bit of a a lean to the basket. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna take this. I'm going to rotate it. Not by a lot. Like we're gonna go like maybe like five degrees, I think is gonna give us a decent amount of tilt. Now, if we do the same exact thing, go to tools, true bend, and I'll pull that all the way out and hit enter. There we go. See how we got that little bit of little bit of a, a cant in there. I don't know if that's the term. One of the things of doing that, it does look good. It it did work. It gave me that little bit of a, a, a you know lean to that but it also pulled this out of flat from my world axis. So I do wanna make sure that I grab it. I'm just gonna use move and grab these handles and just pull it up till it hits the green axis. There we go, now we're flat again. All right, let's wrap this up by putting a wooden bottom in there and a handle on here. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be the easiest thing I can think to do. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to go to move and I'm gonna flip this around 180 degrees so that seam is in the back. I could clean that up too. We could go and explode that and, and join those pieces together, but uh, right now I'm just gonna put it in back and I'm gonna move this over. I wanna put this so that the middle of this basket is on the origin. That's gonna make it the easiest to put a bottom in it. I'm gonna do that by going to move. And see when I first go into move, I got snap points on the corners. If I hit the modder modifier key down at the bottom, so if you look at 
uh, the bottom, it's going to tell you what the command is. When we say modifier key, it just means look at the bottom of the screen and see that. We don't call out a specific command because depending on your operating system, that, that button is going to change. I'm on Windows, so it's command, but on, or I'm sorry, I'm on Mac, so it's command. On a, on a Windows machine, it's different. So that's why we say check the modifier keys. All right, so I'm going to tap that and it's going to go to my edges. I'm going to tap it again and it's going to go to faces. And I'm going to grab by the middle of that bottom face, drop it right there. And then I'm just going to grab a circle, pull that out so it just laps into the material like that. I'll pull it up just a teeny bit. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to triple click. And then I'm going to use the light wood on that. Oh, love it. Make that a group. So if, if, if all you're looking for is a basket basket, we're pretty close right there. Oh, I got a little bit. I got a little too big. I'm, I'm cutting through my material here. Let's go scale. I'll grab this corner right here. Go about the middle and just pull that in uniformly. There we go. I'm inside the material. Oh, almost. There we go. Now I'm inside the material. That looks cool. Um, if we're just looking for a basket basket, I could be done. I'm going to go just a touch further because I, I need this to be uh, an Easter basket. So I'm going to find one of these one of these points right here that is hidden right now. And I'm just toggling off hidden geometry to find that. I'm going to go across the red axis until we hit the other side. Go Hit a point. Come on, baby. There we go. And then I'm going to go up like this over along the red back to this first point again, back down. And then I'm going to draw an arc on it like that. Get rid of all this other geometry. All I want is that arc. Triple click and weld those edges. And then come in here and let's draw another rectangle just like we did on these other pieces. Facing straight up, about the middle. Modifier keys to make that happen. And just something like that. That's fine. And then I'm just going to say, follow me with that little rectangle. And then same thing. I'll put the dark wood on this one. Yes. Love it. Oh, there we go. So there it is. Uh, pretty quick, pretty easy. Um, what was that about 10 minutes, something like that? If you take out the talking time, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, but I do talk. That's why I'm here. So there we go. Quick and easy wicker basket. Only thing we really needed there was Tom Tom's True Bend, and uh, we got that geometry in there. So again, two days ago, back on Tuesday, we released a video where we did something similar to this using just PBR materials. Uh, I wanted to see what it would take to actually model it, though. So um, this would, in theory, be something that you could do without using an extension. Uh, it would just be a little more work to like get the, you'd have to draw those weaves, the, the, the path that goes in between the upright pieces one at a time to make it cant like that. Each one would have to be consecutively a little bit bigger. It'd have to scale it up as you go. It totally doable. Um, but true bends is an example of a, a great extension that simplifies a process to a single click. Um, just taking that flat piece and bending it around. Uh, it's a great extension. So we want to show that here. This is this is beyond desktop. This is where we go beyond just the desktop tools. That's why we did it. Uh, so hopefully you guys like that. And I threw a couple other tips in there too. Hopefully you caught them. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment down below. Did you try to follow along? I will admit this is probably an intermediate modeling process. Uh, I wouldn't call it advanced. It's not nothing in there is super hard, but there I did go through some stuff kind of quickly. So I apologize if it was too fast for you. Hey, we're here forever. Rewind, go watch it again. Uh, in fact, actually stop it, reload the video. That way we'll get an extra view. I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you thought of this video. And if you have some other ideas for modeling videos like that, let us know about that. Or if there's extensions out there you think are awesome. In fact, you know what? Anything related to SketchUp and you think it would make a good video, let us know in the comments. We like making these videos a lot, but we'd like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.